Good morning, North Carolina High School. Welcome to Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. It is a B day, and we have 18 days of virtual learning to go. As I mentioned yesterday, we're going to start counting down. Uh, our last day of virtual instruction is on June 8th. Uh, and as a reminder, this year we are not doing final exams. We will have instruction until the end. Again, teachers, they may do some type of um, assessment uh, as their end of year assessment, but there will not be a full 80 minute final exam. So we will have instruction basically until then. So we have 18 days of virtual learning to go. So hang in there, North Hunterdon. Uh, today I am in room 015. It is Ms. Fed one of Ms. Fedorka's room, as well as a few other English teachers. And we are here because we are acknowledging the fact that today is our third day of AP testing and today is our AP English literature testing. And North Hunter High School seems to be stuck in time a little bit. Our last assignment for AP literature was from March 12th, as on the board, and it was to read um, Act 5 of Hamlet. So I hope that our uh, AP Literature students have done that, obviously, uh, and are very well prepared for their exam today, and I wish you guys the best. Um, also, uh, I anticipate either today, probably today, maybe tomorrow, but likely today, we'll be uh, finalizing and sending out the graduation survey. Uh, we spoke to our class officers, our senior class officers, as well as a group of senior uh, uh, parents and we have developed some options for graduation as how we want uh, to run this year as a reminder um, when executive order 107 is in place we cannot have any on-site um, graduation ceremonies or wave parades or any type of drive-in movie theaters or anything like that at school while the executive order is in place. So we got that clarification over the weekend. So we're looking at what our options are for doing either virtual ceremonies or postponing it. We have uh, several options to choose from and we'll be sending out a survey to get the student and parent feedback about how they would like the graduation of the class of 2020 to look like this year. Obviously, it's not gonna look like we've had in years past, but we do have options as to what that looks like. So um, that information, again, will be coming out, and I do wanna hear your feedback, seniors and senior parents. So uh, please read all of those options carefully. Uh, today, you do not have a pep talk, but what I would encourage everybody to do is to go to our North Huntington website, and a couple examples should be on your screen right now. At the left-hand column is a uh, section of the website dedicated to 2020 end of year events and all of those uh, events that we uh, um, as, as our calendar indicates that they should be occurring like tonight we have a variety of honor society induction ceremonies that would have occurred uh, we are doing those virtually so you'll see links there for our art honor society induction history honor society induction math music honor society induction science honor society induction they're all there and there'll be some more added in the upcoming days so i would encourage everybody to click on those links you'll see the teachers doing a welcome address you often the uh, the honor society officers give a little welcome announcement and then there is also a reading of the names for those students being inducted into the honor into those honor societies so take a few minutes check it out most of those videos are pretty short but recognizes the uh, students that are being inducted inducted as well as the current um, officers within the club. So with that, I'm going to encourage everyone to go there, but I wanted to end with what I found here in room 015. I thought it was a great reminder for the day. I hope all of our students taking our AP test today take this advice. First thing as we get started today, greet two fellow classmates. So this is when you walk in the door, but students, when you're starting the day, why don't you reach out and greet two of your classmates that you haven't spoken to for a while. Put your cell phone away in your backpack or in a, in a spot. I would highly encourage all of our students conducting virtual learning today to set their cell phone aside so they're not distracted. And then get grounded. Notice five things in the room. Focus on four things that you can feel. Listen to three things that you can hear. Take two deep breaths in and out and think one positive thought. So again, students, this might be a great way for everyone to start their day today, to refocus, re-energize, and let's just make these last 18 days of virtual learning that we have ahead of us great days. So with that, check out those induction ceremonies on our website. Good luck to all you AP literature students out there, and let's everybody have a great day.